When innocent children are buried under the rubble caused by tornadoes or are shot by crazed monsters, evil monsters in schools or theaters, none of us consider that to be a partisan issue. Likewise, protecting pain-capable unborn babies is not a Republican issue or a Democrat issue. It is rather a test of our basic humanity and who we are as a human family. For the sake of all the founding fathers of this nation once dreamed, America could someday be. And for the sake of all those since then who have died in darkness that we might all walk in the light of liberty. Um, it is important for those of us who are privileged to be members of Congress to pause from time to time and remind ourselves why we are really all here. Thomas Jefferson said the care of human life and its happiness and not its destruction, is the chief and only object of good government. The phrase in the 14th Amendment and the 5th Amendments capsulize our entire Constitution. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Ladies and gentlemen, protecting the lives of all Americans and their constitutional rights is why we are all here. The bedrock foundation of this republic is that clarion declaration of the self-evident truth that all human beings are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, the rights of life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Every conflict and every battle our nation has ever faced can be traced to our commitment to this core self-evident truth. It has made us the beacon of hope for the entire world. It is who we are. Yet today a great conundrum looms before America. When authorities entered the clinic of Dr. Kermit Gosnell, they found a torture chamber for little babies that I do not have the words or the stomach to adequately describe. According to the gen grand jury report, Dr. Kermit Gosnell had a simple solution for unwanted babies. He simply killed them. He didn't call it that. He called it ensuring fetal demise. The way he ensured fetal demise was by sticking scissors in the back of the baby's neck and cutting the spinal cord. He called it snipping. Over the years, there were hundreds of snippings. Ashley Baldwin, one of Dr. Gosnell's employees, said she saw babies breathing. She described one as two feet long that no longer had eyes or mouth but in her words was like making this screeching noise and it sounded like a little alien and I just wonder for God's sake sometimes is this really who we are if Dr. Gosnell had killed the children he now stands of convicted, convicted of murdering only five minutes earlier and before they had passed through the birth canal it would have all been perfectly legal in many of the United States of America more than, 25, more than 325 late-term unborn babies are torturously killed without anesthesia every day in the land of the free and the home of the brave. If there is one thing that we must not miss about this unspeakably evil episode, it is that Kermit Gosnell is not an anomaly in this gruesome Fortune 500 enterprise of killing unborn children. Rather, Kermit Gosnell is actually the true face of abortion on demand in America. And every American with the slightest shred of compassion for the innocent should go to paincapable.com and learn the truth of this case and others like it for themselves. Not long ago, I heard Barack Obama speak very noble and poignant words that whether he knows it or not, apply so profoundly to the real subject of this hearing. Let me quote excerpted portions of his comments. He said, quote, this is our first task, caring for our children. It's our first job. If we don't get that right, we don't get anything right. That's how, as a society, we will be judged, close quote. The president asked the question that so many of us have asked for such a long time on this issue. He asked it on another issue. He said, are we really prepared to say that we're powerless in the face of such carnage, that the politics are too hard, 
Are we prepared to say that such violence visited on our children year after year after year is somehow the price of our freedom? Again, that sounds exactly what many of us have said for so many years regarding the children we are discussing here today. The president also said, our journey is not complete until all our children are cared for and cherished and always safe from harm. This is our generation's task, he said, to make these words, these rights, these values of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness real for every American. Never have I so deeply agreed with any words ever spoken by President Obama as those I have just quoted. And yet in the most merciless distortion of logic and reason and humanity itself, this president refuses to apply these incontrovertible words to helpless victims like those of Dr. Kermit Gosnell. How I wish somehow that Mr. Obama would open his heart and his ears to his own words and ask himself in the core of his soul why his words that should apply to all children cannot include the most helpless and vulnerable of all children. He is their president, and they need him so desperately. And my friends on this committee, those helpless children that we speak of today need all of us as well. Indeed, they are why we are all here. And with that in mind, I'd like to end my opening statement with two short video clips taken from today's headlines. The first part is of the Live Action Organization's Undercover uh, ex Expose of the Late Term Abortion Industry. It shows a late term abortion counselor in my own state of Arizona advising a pregnant woman on the need to address the unborn child's pain. The second is part of a testimony delivered by the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office describing the horrors uncovered in Dr. Kermit, Go Kermit Gosnell's late term abortion clinic. So please go ahead. They use the suction, then they, there's possible movement when it comes out. Yeah, and sometimes out there. Is it alive or? Sometimes they are, yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will come out whole, because they use suction, because they use instruments, and sometimes the fetuses don't come up, you know, that's not complete. Okay. So. But if it, it does come out whole, mm -hmm. I mean, are, will they resuscitate it? Like, will I? have to take care of it? Mm -mm. Okay. No, but the distraction is probably the best thing for it. That okay. way there's no suffering. Okay? Okay. There was one baby that when it was born, one of the workers was playing with it for several minutes before the worker did exactly what Dr. Gosnell did, snipped the back of the neck. And when we use the word snip, it is a scissor taking a bony part of a vertebrae and cutting it. This is a very, very painful thing. 